What's up, beautiful people? Michelle, the sensual shaman. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to your April 2022 reading. This is uh, how is the universe going to surprise and delight you this month? How is the universe going to surprise and delight you this month? And we are going to be using the Avatar Tarot. <laughs> I love this deck so much. All of my Avatar stands. Let's go. Um, yes, this is the deck we're going to be using. We will clarify with some other ones. I have my Liminal Space deck as well as the Light Seers Tarot. We'll see what I want to pull from. This is going to be a fun reading. We've already done two readings about uh, just two different energies. These cards are so slippery. Two different energies. Um about April and they're really beautiful messages. And this one, I just wanna see what's coming up for us. Um, you know, what, what little surprises can we look forward to here in April? So let's go ahead and get into it. We've got the Five of Wands. I love this Five of Wands. It's so different than other decks. And um, I, I kinda see it as a sort of like team building like, yo, let's, let's get this. Like, yo, you got, what, what superpower you got? You know what I mean? It's very, it's very much Avengers Assemble. You feel me? Like, it's very much giving that. Um, you know what I mean? They don't seem in competition with one another. They look like they're headed together to kick some ass. And then we've got the Queen of Swords, this dexterity of thought, right? Um, I love this sun, this illumination. Um, she is our air avatar, um, airbender, right? We've got the firebenders, the airbender. And um, I just love this. She's light. She's light on her feet. And um, this sort of, uh, she's light on her feet and she's clear in her thoughts, right? So she has this graceful presence, right? She's uh, this sort of young young wise energy right elder sister it's giving so the surprise and delight I, I it feels like there's going to be some some room and then we've got the six of wands which talks to us about leaving leaving an old situation coming back the wiser um again with air energy so i like this this feels like what the surprise and the, the delight this month might be this sort of victory, maybe through a team, right? By doing something together, whether this is a physical team, coworkers, teammates, or your spiritual team. What, what else y'all gotta say about that? Yeah, y'all are getting yourselves out of a, out of a bad, not a, not a bad situation, but Eight of Cups talks about kind of some regret and, and, um, and like I said, the Six of Swords is talking about an old situation that you were, you know, probably pining over. But this Knight of Wands is like, yo, baby, let's go. Well, I'm on to the next one, okay? This is the Knight of Fire, all right? They're ready for the next adventure. They're ready for the next, um, the, ne the next play, you know what I mean? So we're not dwelling anymore. We are getting out of this sort of, any sort of funk. You have some mental clarity about the situation. And you're ready to move on. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. What are we moving into? Well, we gotta look forward to nine of cups, amen. The Empress, yes, 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 yes. Let me get this together, y'all. I'm a little bit messy. I'm, these are my first time doing these sort of, you know. The nine of cups is what we have to look forward to, yes. My cup are filleth, okay? Everything is upright, baby, because I'm seeing straight, okay? Right, eight of cups, right? Things were kind of spilling over. I'm trying to figure out how to, it feels like a sort of a rushed cleanup job, right? And you're like, you know what? I'ma just, I'ma just go. I'ma I'm just, I'ma walk myself out, right? You're either leaving a bad situation ship or employment, whatever. But now you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm the bad baby. Nine of Cups knows her worth. She is resourceful. Um, she's coming under this Queen of Swords energy, which I feel like is the is the clarity of mind that I'm that we're speaking about here. Um, you are sure of your power, and I actually just wrote this. <laughs> the just wrote this this morning after getting on a um, on a call with somebody about um, an offer that I want to provide to you guys. 
I said, you are unstoppable when you are aware and knowing of your gifts and your power. And this is the nine of cups. She is aware. She is aware of what's, what's tea, okay? She's aware of her power. She's been uh, sort of shown th through other, you know what I mean? She's been receiving validation. Like, oh, I'm really that girl. Okay. Like, I, I kind of had a feeling I was that girl. My mama, my daddy, my sister, my family members have always sort of bigged me up. Or, you know, a teacher believed in me. But now there's this sort of external validation that is really emboldening you and is making you rock solid. Like, I know what I have to offer. And I was just in this energy recently. I had a, a job interview uh, and I had to applicate, I had to sort of do a, a uh, mock interview. And I was like, yo, I really killed this. And I don't care if I don't get this job because I know I'm the sauce. I am where the money resides, nine of cups. I know this is a nine of pentacles energy, but honestly, this is what it's giving to me. Um, it's full. She is so full of herself. And you've got, if this isn't you, you have wise counsel. If this isn't you, you have wise counsel. If this is you, you have some very wise counsel and you've got a good team around you. Or in, in the very least you're building, right? Because there are only two people here. Maybe we're, we're waiting for those other team members to come in. But in order to, for those team members to come in, you gotta, you gotta know when to leave uh, half-assed situations, right? And then we got the Empress, let's go. Empress energy, giving Earth mother with the green. Um, the Empress here, tell me more spirit. Nine of swords, nine of cups, nine of swords. Ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of feel like these swords are her fan. Like these, are, this is her, you know, she's sort of. Um, and the Nine of Swords talks about being, uh, being kept up, up, being kept up at night by your thoughts and your ideas. Um, but I feel as if uh, what you're moving into is is actually, I think you either you guys watch a podcast, watch a reading. Not if not just mine, just somebody else's. Um, you're in communicate. You're just talking to somebody, and something just sort of clicks for you. Um, Right, this again, this halo around the the head area. It's this sort of like, bing, and right. We're talking about some being surprised and delighted by the universe. This sort of dream, this sort of restlessness at night, actually makes way for an idea. Or tell me more, spirit. Five of Pentacles. Some some uh, some way out of financial. Uh, trouble, right? Some sort of, you're like, okay, this needs to be sustainable. I need to make this sustainable, right? I can't just be trying to get a quick bag. That's never, that hasn't worked out for me. It's not going to work for me. I need to do something different. And I think that that's what these sort of late nights, I don't know about you, but this, this is giving a night owl right now. And uh, the Empress is about a labor of love, right? We see the light shining down here. This is towards the root chakra, um, right? This, uh, you know what, I need to secure something for myself. I need to secure something. This has to be long lasting. This has to be meaningful. It has to be rooted in community. And, and uh, you know, maybe let me use, right, Issa Rae used to say, said this in an interview, work horizontal, right? We're not in competition with each other. That's why that wasn't, that's why I picked this deck. Because usually the Five of Wands is very competitive. It's just, you know, watching people fight it out. But this doesn't, it feels very much like, well, no, let, this is a labor of love. Let's lengthen this out. How can I make this sustainable? Because maybe you weren't getting anywhere by yourself or the team that you were with was not in the same line or vein as you. Um, we're trying to make this sustainable though. We are, we're, we're, we're up at night. Uh, I know a lot of us are doing, 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 and we're trying to do better, do smart, you know, work smarter. Anything else, Spirit, about this Empress? Something else. Interdependence. What did I say from jump? You need each other. You need each other. I was just watching a tiny world on, um, 
Apple TV, narrated by Paul Rudd. Um, these little, uh, so there's this, in the jungle, there's these little monkeys that can fit into the size of your hand, and they are in the middle of the tree, right? They, 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 they hang out in the middle of the tree, and then there's these howler monkeys, and they're at the top of the tree, right? They're, they're the big dogs. And the howler monkeys will defecate, and they will drop down on the leaves below, below them. And beetles will come and fly to the, the defecation. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they will go to their manure and roll it down. They will, they will hop on the piece of shit, right? <laughs> and they will ride it down to the, to the jungle floor. And they hide it to feed, is, is it to feed their young for, for eating later? And it also fertilizes the ground floor, interdependence. Nature understands this so much more than we do. You do need people. I was, uh, this uh, brother Aki, I'm gonna tag him if I share this on TikTok. Aki Yoga on TikTok and Instagram. He said, use me, just don't misuse me. This alligator is using these birds. Yeah, 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 like get, eat my parasites, like I'm getting a little clean, right? We know those relationships with um, whales and those smaller fish, right? They will eat the parasites. There are, again, in tiny world, there are these little flower ticks that live inside of the, the nectar of this flower and they will hop onto the beak of a hummingbird so they can get lifted and transported to another flower so that they can eat, right? They are using the hummingbird. We do need to use each other. So all of us talking about don't use me. Yes, you, we need to use one another. Just don't misuse me. Don't misuse me, right? Let this be a cooperative relationship or at the very least, right? The flower tick is not harming the hummingbird by being there, right? The, the howler monkey is you know, the, the beetle is using that fertilizer to enrich its family. And now the, the jungle, you know what I mean? Like the beetle is doing work for the entire jungle. Like stop needing it to be all about you. This is about interdependence. So that's what else is coming up. Like I said, it's about working, working horizontal, as Issa Rae said. It's about working horizontal. And I think you guys are going to be up late at night trying to find a way to make this sort of stuff sustainable. Five of Pentacles, right? It's kind of like, he's kind of like, hold on, hold on. We got to, we got to change the way we're doing things here. We need to find some stability. All right. All right. That's all I got for y'all. Surprised and delighted. Let your community help you out. Leave half-ass relationships, be so full of yourself and aware of your power and knowing how you can serve other people, right? You are full of yourself and now you can overflow into the communities and the people and the relationships that need you, all right? Mentorship, okay? All right, love you guys. See you on the next one.